with all the um, plans delay we had today, it's very good because now uh, the sun is gone and uh, we can uh, come to the uh, talk about lights. And uh, yeah, before I um, um, give the word to him, um, let me thank Marco Dinkel for his donation to support the event. Thank you, Marco. Okay. For the people who will not be there soon, I hope you will um, come tomorrow. Um, even, let me say this uh, once again, even though I wrote it, even if you think, oh, the workshop um, with the composition challenge, I, I don't think I'm the right man for this or the right woman. No, this, um, I don't really make music. It doesn't matter. Then you will music make music then. Or at least um, you will, can put it into uh, a sound editor and just um, put effects on it until it sounds good. It's, it's an hour spent um, to learn the programs uh, or to learn just to explore. And uh, I think it's, it's worth a while. Also, you will be learning Adro right in front of the composition challenge. So you already know one program then. OK, now, um, do you want to introduce, introduce yourself? Oh, Maybe. I will make it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, let's, um, let's start. OK, hello, uh, everyone, I think have ever seen something like this or something like this. Everyone, everyone has been on concert like this, right? But maybe your shows, have I selected? No. Maybe your shows look more like this. Am I right? <laughs> this is my, uh, my concert. <laughs> yes, is it right? Is it true? Okay. <laughs> but do you want uh, a pleasure, uh, your shows to be pleasure to watch? You are on the right place. I will try uh, to show you how to make it. My uh, talk is uh, named uh, Appearance Matters. And uh, I think it will be good uh, to introduce myself. So I'm Michal Soucek. Uh, I, I have came here from Prague in Czech Republic. Uh, for uh, full time, I work as a uh, C++ programmer, but uh, I'm also enthusiast uh, amateur, amateur uh, into Linux, Linux, uh, to unconventional uh, solutions of everything, uh, including music. Uh, so I sometimes uh, do music, I sometimes do lights. Now I do lights even for, uh, for money but not too much, only as a uh, part-time job. And uh, I sometimes do also s uh, work as sound engineer, also for uh, live performances and uh, in the studio. But I'm uh, not good in anything uh, I've written here. But as I said, I'm uh, really enthusiastic for uh, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm also not a showman, so it will be maybe a little boring and more technical than uh, guys before me, so I hope you will uh, you will enjoy this. And uh, please excuse my pretty bad English. Uh, it's not perfect at all, but I hope uh, it will be understood. If not, feel free to ask me. I will try to answer your question or repeat if you don't understand. I need to mention, and I am also part of uh, AVC, which is. Uh, Part of uh, Silicon Hill, which is student uh, club, uh, non-profit organization. organization. Uh, we do things I've written here. Uh, so, just for uh, curiosity, the lights I bring with myself are uh, I've br uh, <laughs> uh, borrowed them in the AVC, and it's the club uh, where I learn all these things. It's, however, uh, based in Prague, so maybe if you are in Prague one time, you can visit us and look what we do. We have some cool things. So uh, I think it's time for uh, uh, first the demo. 
it will be a recording from uh, one of the not one of the but last concert uh, of my ex band it's uh, definitely not good but uh, it will show what can you do with the things i will show you here i will uh, leave it uh, playing for one minute and then will i stop because it has one and a half hour nice good <laughs> The guy with the hat. Thank you. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> uh, you are right, uh, that uh, wasn't the best. It was the uh, first time I tried to make a prepared light show for the concert. So it was pretty random in some times. But uh, I think uh, you've got the point. This is what you can make. And uh, in the uh, in the end, it's all about you and what you can make. If you are better, it, the, uh, your light shows will be better. If you are not that good, if you are just like me, your shows will be like this. It is, uh, I forgot what I've written here. <laughs> it's about your skills, especially time you put in it. It's extremely uh, time consuming thing. Uh, one hour concert. Uh, took me about one uh, day, I mean 24 hours of uh, sitting at computer and clicking, clicking, clicking. Of course, it's about your equipment. I had only eight lights like this, nothing uh, extraordinary. Uh, it's pretty cheap, uh, cheap uh, light fixtures. And of course, about your music. It's the most important thing because when you make bad music like me, uh, even the lights uh, won't save us, save you. Okay? <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, how to control lights? Uh, I uh, think I, it will be better if I uh, tell you something uh, like theory uh, before I start uh, some uh, practice uh, demonstration. So, I will tell you about two things you will need for this. Uh, the first one is uh, DMX 512. I will call it just DMX for the next time. It's a protocol uh, designed specifically for uh, controlling lights, and not only lights, but also hazers, fog makers. Uh, I don't know, whatever you want, uh, if, you, if it supports uh, DMX, or uh, if you are able to implement D DMX into it, it's not that hard. Or if it, uh, if it, is, uh, if it is some uh, really uh, simple, uh, if it is simple device, enough, enough simple device to just connect it to some existing DMX driver. I have one here. It's uh, really 
punk and homemade uh, uh, driver for lights for LED stripes, LED stripes. I think everybody knows LED stripes, right? And uh, this was made uh, from uh, box, uh, from T box, and uh, few wires and little electronics. I will send it to you so you can look. There is uh, one uh, one circuit uh, that does everything and costs about 10 euros. So really not too much. <laughs> you can look into it. It's homemade and it's cheap. Uh, the uh, DMX is just uh, ordinary serial line uh, uh, running on uh, 250 kilobouts per second. Its uh, default connectors are XLR, which everyone I think knows from uh, music. Microphone is connected uh, through XLR. Uh, everything is connected to XLR connectors. So are so is DMX. Uh, these things, uh, usually these cheap things, are connected through uh, free wire XLR, which is enough, but most professional and expensive things I have never in my hands are connected through 5-pin XLR connector. The X, uh, DMX is a simple protocol. It's uh, one, uh, uh, not one, it 512 uh, bytes repeatedly sent uh, onto the bus. I forgot to mention it is bus, so you just put lights on the two wires or three wires and it works by sending uh, one big frame again and again and again. And every byte uh, in this uh, big frame represents uh, one, uh, one channel. So first byte uh, in this frame is uh, first channel, second byte is second channel, and so on and so on. Uh, a light like this usually takes up seven channels, so it uses channel N to N plus seven. I don't know what address I set it, but maybe one to seven. And uh, it works by just listening on the, on the bus and uh, showing what you sent it to in, on the right address. So when two lights have same address, it's not a problem. The two lights will show the same color, same, same things. Uh, I forgot to mention these uh, these bytes are called universe. You can have, if you have enough ra hardware, you can have uh, also enough uh, universes. So you can there is unlimited count of lights you can control, but uh, it's very limited uh, count of lights you can control in one universe. Another thing you will need uh, for uh, preparing show. Is MIDI. I think is there anyone here who know who doesn't know MIDI? Fine. So I will skip. I will just skip it. It's not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will just need to know what MIDI means and what can you send. Unfortunately, you cannot control lights uh, via MIDI directly. You need to combine these things and some software to make these works. Okay, so we know theory and uh, we can uh, proceed to more uh, practical things like what you need for controlling uh, lights. This is Avolite's Titan Mobile. It's cost just 3,000 euros. You will need this for lights, right? Okay, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, it can be done way cheaper. Uh, one thing you need is DMX controller. It's uh, I have it here. It's built in in this thing. I don't know if you everybody see it. I will send another one. Uh, you will uh, need, of course, some uh, lights because without lights uh, you won't be able to make light. <laughs> uh, you will need cables, of course, computer, 
Lightning software, I will show you. And as I said, a lot of time. I uh, highlighted it because it's a really important thing. So DMX converter is the one of one of most important things. Uh, there exist uh, cable-like uh, converters uh, like I have here, and I have one here, really homemade and really cheap. It's basically FTDI. Uh, it's a USB to serial line and Max MAX. Uh, Four eight five uh, chip, which make it uh, suitable for uh, DMX. This is a converter found for uh, 35 euros on Toman. Or I have here this thing. It costs. You will see how much it costs. Not too much. Uh, I will send it to, to you so you can look. Uh, really, this thing can do the same work as uh, the previous one. This and this can make same work, but this is not uh, self-contained. You need to uh, create connector and uh, make some case for it. <laughs> uh, as I said, you need uh, light fixtures. It's unfortunately the most expensive thing. You cannot uh, replace it by software. If you can, uh, I will I will ask you how. It will be good, really good. <laughs> uh, but it can be rented for not too much if you want a really professional show. And can of you explain what are fixtures? I don't understand the word. Uh, okay, uh, fixture is, uh, I think, English word that means uh, the actual light. Like, I will... <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> okay, this, is, this can be called fixture. It's light fixture. Uh, maybe it's not. Uh, maybe I'm not uh, explaining uh, well in English, but I think you got the point, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Next thing you ne you will need is of course software. Linux, Linux. I think everyone here use it. Okay. Jack, uh, I think it's no problem. Also, Ardour. Maybe not everyone use it, but. It's also not a uh, necessity. You can use anything uh, which uh, knows the MIDI. QLC Plus is the actual lightning software. I will show you in demonstration how to make some basic, uh, basic things in, the, in it. And you will need uh, this thing called A2J MIDI D Demon. Uh, which just converts uh, Alza and Jack MIDI together. There are, in fact, uh, two uh, MIDI worlds in Linux. One is Jack, and one is uh, one is Alza, and uh, both kinds of, of software uses another one. So you know Ardur, I'm right? Okay. So QLC is. Uh, Abbreviation for QLight controller. Uh, it has a MIDI input, but it is in Alza, and Ardour has a MIDI output in Jack. Uh, it can output uh, almost to every every possible piece of hardware that uh, can send out DMX or other things uh, for controlling lights. It is, of course, open source. Everything I will be talking about is open source. And uh, as other open source things, it's practically unlimited. Uh, it's unlimited, but of course, you need uh, to take care of power of your computer. The last thing is A2J MIDI Demon. Uh, as I said before, it just connects uh, Alza and uh, Jack MIDI worlds. This command I've written here is everything you need to run. Just in, uh, just you type this into Bash, and it will start working, and you, you don't need anything more. So, what can QLC Plus do? Uh, it controls slides and other things that uh, receive DMX. Uh, so it means you can control core intensity, uh, rotation of moving heads. I wanted to uh, take uh, two moving heads with me. But there was a little problem with uh, 
Umweltzone, Umweltzone in Germany, so we cannot drive a car into the city. So it is a really minimal setup. And of course, whatever the light can do. You can even make the light uh, for your yourself if you uh, are able to uh, use Arduino. Is anyone programming Arduino here? Okay, three people. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> But it's uh, it's really really easy to uh, manage it. Even you don't need to be a good programmer. You will just use library, and I don't know. Maybe you can uh, switch relays with DMX, whatever you want. And what it can do using MIDI, it's uh, more limited than uh, using uh, QLC mm, by hand. But still, it can switch scenes. I mean, scene is something uh, that. Uh, when you have all lights uh, uh, set to red, it can be called scene. It has, it can uh, start and stop some macros. Uh, I will show you what does it mean, and it can set uh, some parameters, so you can uh, control the, for example, intensity right to the MIDI. You will send some MIDI message, and the light will be set uh, like in that MIDI message. So uh, now, I don't know how time I spent, but now I will sit to the computer and show you some really basic uh, light show. I need to prepare everything, so... Okay, failed. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> I do this all the time. <laughs> ah, it's running. I have uh, the A2J uh, running uh, just after the startup. It can be set, uh, I don't know where. Ah, here. You can uh, start the A2J uh, MIDI demon to do the work just after the starting of Jack server. So now, now I will run Ardur and QLC plus. I've got the, the music that uh, Anfa, I'm saying it right? Yeah. It's Anfa. Uh, Anfa made uh, some music uh, in one talk before me. Okay, there is problem. Uh, and I will try to make a light show for his music. So let's see how and good I am in this. Sorry? And then we're gonna tour the world. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, so. So it's starting, it started. I will just try if it works. Good, do, do you hear everything, right? <laughs> There's something wrong. I don't know what. Ah, there's... Is that right? <laughs> Okay. If you press L, it will loop forever. Sorry? If you press the L key, it will loop forever. <laughs> Fine. I don't think I need that. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this is the Q-Lite uh, uh, Controller Plus. Uh, it's, uh, I have uh, prepared uh, these four fixtures I have here because I uh, cannot remember the addresses. It's pretty easy to insert one there. Uh, you just click right here, tell other fixture. You need to find right profile for your light because uh, everything has uh, different channels and things like that. So it's pretty easy. In the back of your light, there are 
typically, typically uh, DIP switches, which set address. You can uh, even uh, display uh, this switch setting in the software. So really no problem with uh, configuring this. And after this, you need to create some scenes. So I will create, as I said, a red scene. I came from communist Czech, so the red is great. <laughs> you will uh, add uh, all fixtures here. I did it uh, right now, and I don't want this, so I will delete it. Sorry. I will make anything. Other uh, There is a feature named Channel Groups, and it will uh, create a channel group uh, in meaning of every red channel will mm, belong to this group. So you will just set uh, this channel group to full and uh, every light that's in the channel group will start shining. So I will have red, green, blue and master which is uh, setting of uh, absolute uh, it's master for the intensity of light you will see what it, what does it mean so now i can um, i think i must delete it and create it again this software isn't perfect but for free software it's pretty good so again, a red scene, there are channel groups, so I will just use red, and I will set red to full. You see, nothing shines, because I need to create another scene, which will be full light, master, channel groups, set it to full, and it still don't work, because I need to start these two uh, scenes together, which cannot be done in this uh, designing uh, mode. So I will make red scene with master in full and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, something wrong. <laughs> and I don't know what. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, I don't know why it didn't work. <laughs> it should work. It was even shining a uh, few minutes before. <laughs> Maybe some cables disconnected? No, no way. <laughs> ah, okay, some. Uh, it's not, not nice to me. Okay, so we have red scene. And there's some problem? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I will delete it. And I will create um, blue scene. Blue, channel groups, blue, and I think I must add uh, master. Now it should shine blue. You see, this is true blue color. <laughs> uh, I've maybe made some mistake. I think it's not a problem for you, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and now let's create green. I think it will be red. <laughs> green and master. Channel group, green and... Okay, it's shine yellow. <laughs> which is red and green. Okay, some mistake, maybe I uh, clicked the dip switch wrong when manipulating with the lights. It doesn't matter. So we have three scenes, and uh, okay, that will be enough for uh, beginning. Now there is something I called virtual console, console uh, where you can create a buttons. So I will create three buttons. Let's call them red, 
uh, green and <laughs> you said blue? Okay. <laughs> so I have three buttons and it doesn't mean nothing still because I need to connect uh, these MIDI things. So I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, for this thing, you will need to connect uh, MIDI uh, the way I don't remember. So I'm starting to improvise now. Audio connections. You know this, I think. Do you know? Where is MIDI? So in the menu, there are some MIDI. Wait, wait. There. You mean this? MIDI connections, yeah, right. <laughs> I'm using this almost every day and I don't remember. <laughs> so for connecting Ardur with uh, QLC, you will need to find this uh, A to J software i don't know here it is it can be seen it is input so i will send it to qlc there is qlc two times why i don't understand it who knows maybe we have outputs from qlc plus too but these are inputs yeah. <laughs> are at the oh, yeah, this yes be i will make it like this it will work i hope no, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, I like this. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, I need to create a lighting track. It will be MIDI track, uh, so lights. No synth. It, w it could be amazing to listen music you made uh, through MIDI synth to lights. <laughs> So now I need to route it to many connections. Light out to QLC. And I also will use, uh, I have uh, Cork Nanopad here for uh, simplifying these things. And I will set, send this to my track. Nice. All right, it works. Now I need to find out if this also works. No. Great. Isn't it boring when it don't work? It's thrilling. <laughs> midi, midi, midi. Input. Port. No, no, no. Nice. Hey, I don't really know how this works. I don't remember it. <laughs> but uh, it's always lottery because QLC works uh, in a strange way. It's not the Jack application. It knows that it not has uh, have MIDI input uh, from Jack, so it works strange. I think it should be this port thing. So I will use it like this. I will check it like input. No. <laughs> okay, I will use the port. It's from Jack, I think. Tuck. I will try it again. Yeah, it works. Nice. So, uh, I cannot explain what I did because I don't know. <laughs> 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 but it works. <laughs> Okay, uh, I, I will try to uh, explain it. Uh, it create, uh, created a MIDI port from Jack. Uh, in the, it's made just in the air. I don't know when it... Uh, when it shows up. I don't know when it shows up. It sh just sometimes shows up and you need to check it and it will start working. Okay, but I am working it. I will use this first button. And there is function, so I will set that this function will start blue scene. And the button is called red. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, thank you. <laughs> That's how you make interesting shows. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> mm. 
for uh, for the there is a, a few modes that it can take. Uh, one is toggle, that means you send note on, it will turn the lights. You will send note off, and it will uh, shut the lights. Uh, for this thing, I think it's better to use flash, which means uh, when you press the button or send the note on, it will turn the lights and it will shut the lights when you send note off. So flash function. I don't know what to do other things because I didn't need it. Now I start the QLC and. Oh yeah! Woo! Nice. <laughs> So I will set the uh, other one, like green, flash, <laughs> and blue. I forgot how to detect, you are right. I will use this second button, uh, third button. And, uh, flash function. Flash function. It's okay. I, I can forget everything in a few minutes. I have memory like a fish. <laughs> yeah, woo! Three buttons and it do some lights. Now let's uh, let's record just for test this in Ardour if it even works. Ha! Yes, but. <laughs> It stopped. It stopped working. Now, I don't know why. <laughs> I think the problem lies elsewhere. There's a problem. So I will try to stop everything and start it again. He yeah, actually he started his presentation with a lie already because he said he's not an entertainer, he's not a showman. <laughs> Nobody was compiling kernels live yet. <laughs> This is pre-compiled kernel uh, downloaded uh, right from the uh, repo. repo, yes. <laughs> I sometimes lost the word. No need to feel embarrassed. We <coughs> have seen for Davis demo R in 2004 Karlsruhe and how embarrassed he was after five credits for 15 minutes. That was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> So nano pet to I will try this. Okay. This works. That's good. So let's try lights to QLC plus. Yeah. <laughs> Now you see why it's uh, why it takes so long time because you will fight the software and it don't work. Also, it should work. <laughs> so I think you got the point. Should I do anything other? <laughs> okay, I will try something. I will record these three lights and make something extremely simple and pretty ugly, but uh, just for for the point. Okay, where is base? Here is base. It's okay. <laughs> I will just record the notes uh, to know what uh, with what I'm uh, working. 
we'll change this to really small scale. It's easy to edit. So, oh, sorry. So let me check this and okay, I need to longer notes as a default whole bit. It will be really, really simple. I don't uh, even listen to the music, so I'm not, uh, I don't know for what I'm uh, making light show, eh? you know. <laughs> you can, of course, use uh, great features in this software called Ardur like copy reg regions, regions. I know. It's, uh, I want it. Okay. I just need to uh, set the note, the right length for the note. Stop it. I don't know why it chimes. Okay. Yeah, it's, it sometimes cut the note off. Okay, now I will copy this for the few first bars. And we have very simple pseudo light show. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's good to make something after, after so long time. So I will show you uh, some other features of uh, QLC plus. There is uh, things called. Sorry. Uh, should I should I end? I can do it right now. It's no problem. I. Uh, I don't know Five five minutes, maybe ten. <laughs> the other feature of QLC is uh, called RGB. RGB matrix. Uh, it's uh, suited for uh, big metric matrices of uh, of lights, but can be also used for just these four. So, no, I didn't want this. I need to create matrix. It's maybe here. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right. It's not RGB panel. <laughs> yes. Sorry? Of course, you can. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, okay, uh, my first question is um, the QLC um, project code, is it somewhere public where, where um, we can send a feature request, a bug report uh, to, yes, to, to uh, give it a Jack Midi request? <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, almost in all uh, Linux reposit repositories. It's public uh, open source software. Right, yeah. It was written by some Italian guy. I can remember his name. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a fork of the QLC without plus. Mm -hmm. I don't know that software, but it's QLC plus. Uh, it's open source. It's free. It can be downloaded. Uh, and yeah. Okay, so there's a chance uh, one day someone will yes, say maybe. Uh, but I think it's Alza be gone, and I want Jack. <laughs> I think uh, it's not the priority of this software because I, yeah, I this usage is, uh, I think, unusual. Nobody do does it like this. Everyone, uh, everyone, every big band have uh, a guy that uh, stand uh, behind the mixing desk for lights and click buttons and uh, run uh, all these scripts and things like that. I was that guy once, <laughs> for a year. 
<laughs> okay, I'm do we working you... like this right now? <laughs> also, <laughs> do we have any uh, questions? Yeah. So I'll ask the same question that I asked Unfa earlier on, which is what would you like to see improve in your workflow in general? What what's the the weakest point of this whole setup and and like what would you like to see change to make things better? Uh, you mean in my uh, workflow or uh, in this uh, setup uh, uh, generally? In in your experience, your setup. Okay, uh, I think the weakest point of this is uh, it is uh, really time consuming more than uh, it should be because you need to create every node. Uh, you need to create a node for every scene you want to run. You need to uh, look what are you uh, running to these nodes and when you have, I don't know, maybe 12... Uh, I don't want to exactly what's that. What's that? What write me? Well, <laughs> mm, I can't remember. Two zero. What's the number? <laughs> Twenty. Yes. Okay, I was right. <laughs> it sometimes it sometimes happens to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, you ha when you have uh, 20 scenes, it's pretty hard to remember uh, which is which. Because you uh, don't uh, have, in Ardur, uh, you don't have a scene, you just put notes. And when you put notes, it's, uh, it's hard to remember what's what. You know, I can tell which one is blue, which one is red, which one is green, uh, just by looking at on this. And uh, it's the one of the biggest problem. And maybe it will be big problem when you try to create a really big show. Uh, and uh, you will uh, run out of the MIDI nodes. There are only uh, 127 nodes. You could use another MIDI channel, maybe. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you can. But uh, you you've seen uh, how uh, QLC works, so <laughs> I'm a little afraid you cannot. <laughs> the the um, doesn't have uh, the MIDI name files. Um, they show the the um, names instead of the rectangles or something like this is it, is it possible to label the the nodes like uh, kick or uh, snare for for um, a drum set or so i and don't know if uh, this can be done for drums it can be of course <laughs> done for uh, lights yeah I, i'm not sure and maybe it's possible to because there are regions in ardor there are scenes if you want you can in the in the top row you can insert um Regions there, yeah. and maybe it would be possible, or maybe easy to implement, to change the the description files for different markers, so that that um, then you see the names of the lights and they change uh, once you reach that marker. I'm not sure if I understand maybe, maybe you, but that, okay. uh, the scene is represented by node in the vertical uh, yeah, vertical I, I axis, understand. yeah, and markers are on uh, horizontal axis, so. Yeah. A scene okay. cannot be. Uh, maybe yeah, maybe like I, I got it wrong. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No problem. So, a solution would maybe be that the QLC software would export for your session a mini num file, but that's a feature request that. <laughs> Yeah, you have to file for the for the author of the software. Actually, thank you for the talk. I have uh, uh, two or three questions. The first question: a scene. Um, is it just a static setup or can it be a change, changing the light over time? Uh, there is, uh, the QLC software is pretty much powerful. Uh, there can be scenes, uh, I wanted to show you RGB matrix and there is also, uh, I'm not sure, yeah, I'm chasers, it's called chaser and when I create chaser, I call it like this, uh, it can contain scenes, and it has uh, fade in and fade outs. Okay, so it's there's lots of possibilities actually uh, to, in a single scene, to have a motion of light. Yes, it's a uh, scene is just a uh, scene. It's static, but you can uh, create chasers, which is which is uh, 
set of scenes that can be uh, morphing, <laughs> morphing uh, one after second and so yeah, yeah. on. Okay, cool. So uh, it can be used like this and. Uh, One of the most powerful things in this uh, software is uh, the RGB matrix, which can be programmed in JavaScript, and you, crea you can create uh, every pattern you would like. I, uh, I don't have a time to show you this, or I don't have a time to show everything this can, uh, what can be done, because it would need maybe 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Another question. Um so, uh, do I understand correctly your workflow? It's you have the music and you are pre-recording the the light show also on the MIDI track. Yes, so this is uh, this you is intended for uh, for a band that has songs uh, prepared and uh, it can be used also uh, along with samples. Uh, as you uh, heard on uh, my uh, short uh, demonstration from the concert, we had some electronic music in background, and this was uh, just another MIDI track for the band. Drummer has uh, had uh, headphones and listening to click track and drumming f uh, with this, and lights uh, lights was going on. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, I think let's um, wrap it up here and. Let me come to the light. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you very much, and I'm I'm happy that it uh, finally worked in the end. So it's uh, <laughs> I, I wanted to see it myself.